Hello, trading has closed on the 2nd of April, 2024. We'll uh, do our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions. It's my trading plan for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Please remember my calls can be wrong, trade at your own risk. People who are unfamiliar with the MJT system should read this. If you're already familiar, you don't need to. Look for the pattern with the early low it tends to be a rally day with a high in the final hour. We got that. We had a few targets, neither one of which had to print, but which often would. One was an optional target, prints 95% of the time. The other was an ultimate target with no time limit. One of my rules is gapping sharply in the undesired direction kills the call, so those were killed before the open. The difference between a call that's killed and a call that's wrong is calls that are killed don't cost me any money. Before we open, these are off the table. We do get to cross an old target off the table, 52.16.79, you went through it, so that gets crossed off the list. We did say over the weekend that we had many of the elements for last Thursday's high being a top. Uh, the wave count wasn't as clear. We had a Trader Vic 2B top. We had the time. We had the um, price. Um, always a bit reluctant to stand in front of a rally as strong as this one, but so far, that's a top. That doesn't mean we have to drop tomorrow, but so far that's worked. During the day, we had a few moves. MJT marked as false. They've already retraced. This is a daily chart. These are Bollinger Bands, and that's uh, the midpoint of the Bollinger Bands, which is the support level. So you can see we stopped at a support level. Now support doesn't have to hold. But if we're going to continue dropping, the ideal situation is to gap under today's low, which I'm not predicting one way or the other. But when you have a straight line drop to support, either you, either you gap under support or the support wins, meaning the move through it isn't going to stick. Well, we did break through this um, trend line. It needs confirmation by, by trading under today's close by one cent. If we don't do that, meaning if we gap up and hold it, this break doesn't count. When you have an upsloping trend line and break through in a straight line, in a very high percentage of the cases, you're going to retrace to this line at some point. That uh, doesn't mean it happens tomorrow, but that's a resistance level, which is often, but not always, hit. We gap down, hit a lower low, closed over all the lows, even, even over the highs. That's a bullish pattern, but what's not bullish is that even though we closed over this low, we didn't close over any of the consolidation's highs. Um, this move doesn't have to be over. We could gap up, but right now, it's just backing and filling. It would have been um, a lot clearer if you're a bull if you overtook some of these highs, but it would have been a lot clearer if you're a bear if we'd make some progress after the early drop, and that'll probably be resolved at tomorrow's open by gapping smartly. Sometimes you close on change for a day and then have the, the gap. But in, in any event, we have to use mixed signals rules. And the rules are right here. The commonest thing is a gap, prompt move outside the day's range. Next most common, you close a little change, big move the next day. Far less common, neither one of those things happen. Well, tomorrow's open has really low, doesn't tell us where we open. I have personal business this evening. I didn't have much time to do my analysis at all. We're using the mixed signals rules as bullish. We gap down, 
hit a lower low, closed over intraday lows and even over intraday highs. And if maintained at the open, the open can substitute for today's close. If that's maintained at the open, it should lead to higher prices. It doesn't mean to be close high. Volatility index reversed through its upper Bollinger Band, and that gives a buy signal. What's not bullish is bearish that today's normally bullish pattern showed early weakness and closed sharply down. And if that's maintained at the open, it should lead to lower prices. Doesn't mean we close lower. And the recovery so far hasn't overtaken the prior high from the previous day. It's just backing and filling so far. So we have to use these mixed signals rules. At this point, I can explain the move sharply down or sharply up. Uh, we'll have to wait to see which one happens. We'll cross the optional target off the list. Ultimately, 52.59.06 should print. Doesn't mean it has to print tomorrow, but often you don't wait too long, but often it always aren't the same thing. It's the pattern with the early low, leader closed unchanged, and then gap or else gap smartly, and that's today's call.